Um, well, the, the whole asset servicing space um, has been a challenge for a number of years, the entire life cycle um, around corporate actions has been a challenge for custodians, private banks, um, banks with asset servicing divisions. Um, so it, it's something that's been struggled with for a while. There's a lot of um, challenges around matching the data that leads to the corporate actions life cycle. Uh, but there's one particular area now that, that seems to be um, getting attracting a lot of funding um, and, and creating issues for organisations, and that is notifying the beneficial owners of securities when a corporate action um, is announcement is made. Uh, and there, I think there are a number of drivers for that. Firstly, um, I think that there are more high net worth individuals that are directly managing their own portfolios and care a lot about getting that information and getting it in a timely way. Um, and actually in the emerging markets, I think it's almost like a social thing. Understanding or knowing when an announcement's happening is something that you talk about with your friends, like, like the latest score in a football match or a cricket match or who won an election or who won an Oscar. Now, understanding when an announcement was been, has been made and, and knowing that in a timely way is, is something that's a social currency that people uh, like to know. People... Uh, chat with amongst their friends. So the private banks and the wealth managers in Asia, for example, are under a lot of pressure for their uh, big customers to, to get that information in a timely way. So that creates a challenge. Um, so you have to gather the information from various sources, um, local sources, sub-custodians, as well as data vendors, uh, match that information, understand who owns that particular stock or security, and then let them know the type of announcement that's coming um, and what action is required of them, because they need to react to that. They may need to vote. They may need to make a choice. So that whole life cycle of gathering the information, matching it, scrubbing it, and notifying the beneficial owner creates, uh, or that needs to be shortened so that the, the owners themselves get the information quickly. So that particular niche, we're seeing a lot of RFPs coming out in, across the, across the uh, all markets actually, but particularly in Asia, we're seeing it as, um, as digitization um, really penetrates the market so that it, notifications come to people's devices and people expect to get that information in a very immediate way. So that life cycle, is something that we um, are investing in our solution to to address uh, both from the matching side as well as distribution side. Um, we're already working with some of our existing customers to extend not just our corporate actions make, uh, matching capability but also going to the, the beneficial owner notification um, area but, uh, but I think that generally speaking that is going to be a focus for us in 2019. We're seeing budget being allocated in the market, we're seeing this as a, um, a, a need globally so this is something that's definitely going to be a golden source focus uh, for 2019.